Mr. Redmayne. How are you? Hello. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Lovely to see you guys. You Thanks. too. Let's talk about this morning first. You came. Off the edge of the <laughs> we got a little slant happening. We neglected to pay for a ledge. Well, hey. we'll do it next time. It's a nice lean here. It's good. <laughs> um, this morning, you are deep in slumber. You're watching your TV. What is happening? I was actually, I was deep in slumber um, here in Los Angeles, and uh, I was woken with this kind of gigantic rap on the door. And you know that thing when you wake up and you're Startling. like, what, 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 you know, and you sort of startled up, ran to the door, hit my knee, screamed a bit. Then realized that I was sort of in a state of undress, went and got a towel, opened the door, and um, my manager was there with a, a, a phone mm. with a load of screaming voices coming out of it. And, and, and I hoped that was a good thing, and it was an amazing thing. So, and Did you have any idea? Uh, I mean, you've had this experience already before, which is so amazing. With, with Les Miserables, sort of witnessing, do you know what? When I did Les Mis, it was so amazing to be a part of that ride and my god it was a special thing and, and we got to sing at the Oscars and I, I've always watched the Oscars mm. as a kid and, and when I was there you really felt this it felt like a spectacle yeah. it felt like old Hollywood and I, I never thought that I'd get the chance to, to, to go back so to go back as a nominee is amazing uh, yeah and to play Stephen Hawking in this movie I, I love the story that you said when you first met him yeah. because you had so many things you wanted to talk about and to say and you just kind of found yourself talking in a circle in <laughs> I know it was I was pretty awful I'd, I'd spent four months researching everything about him yeah. really trying to to literally every intricacy of his life and then I met him and because now there are there's a very long pause they're very sort of, it's a unique rhythm when you spend time with him um, and I hate silence or I have a fear of it and so I just got anxiety and just started filling the silence with information about him that I was telling him and he was sort of looking at me going really like I do know that <laughs> I am me but, but there was some point where and maybe there was a particular demarcation or not where you received what I can describe as his endorsement when did you feel that came well that came for us after he saw the film when we had made the film Stephen owns the copyright to his voice um, the sort of unique yeah. uh, mechanized voice and when we made the film we had used a kind of approximated version of what that voice was and, and then after he saw the film he offered us his mm. voice and for me when you're trying to play someone and get as close to the truth as possible having when he gave us his voice it was just that one step closer yeah, so it was amazing thrilling. speaking of one step closer what must be particularly gratifying to you and I'm eager to ask her the same question you're a nominee and then when you heard Felicity Jones was a nominee mm. I know and she is an old friend and we both, when we were cast in this, we'd spent years auditioning for things that we didn't get together, yeah. you know, and, and, um, and then we got this. It was such a unique story, and we worked hard. We really did give our best, and, and, and we challenged each other, and, and I think we sort of raised each other's game, so I was so thrilled. I was so thrilled that she got nominated. Well, Eddie Redman, the uh, theory of everything is absolutely it fantastic. Really what a pleasure. Is. Nice to see you. Congratulations yeah, Congratulations. To you. It's so Thank nice you. talking to you. Have fun. Thank okay? you. Thanks Bye -bye. so much.